All right, and welcome back to another episode of Raul's World of Synths. I am Raul. This time around, we're going to be looking at a few audio demonstrations of Offset, as well as uh, attempting to integrate uh, what's called the free-running ADSR um, by using a combination of two Dover modules, the ADSR right here and the comparator. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Uh, if you were with us last time, you saw some of the demonstrations, or visual demonstrations, I should say, of uh, waveforms uh, and how an offset can affect them, coming from our friend, the voltage-controlled LFO. We showed inputting a waveform into our oscilloscope, and then using the offset found in the A167 to either move it up or down uh, plus or minus five volts. Uh, but this time around, I thought it would be interesting to actually hear what that would sound like and uh, also integrate it within you know, a practical audio demonstration. Um, so to do that though, we're gonna have to um, do a little bit of patching here to do the setup and then also hear our audio rate oscillator. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm not going to patch my audio yet, but uh, I am going to go ahead and set up my patch with the comparator, uh, but I am going to also have to set up my oscilloscope. So remember, we're going to start out with a waveform. So I'm going to patch out from my sine wave over here. And again, I got my special cable that's going to act as a multiple. And I'm going to go down to my oscilloscope in the input one. There we go. We're getting some signal in there. Um, I am going to need to change, though, modes here, I believe. Yeah, because I want to do the dual layered. And then right there, I'm going to need to maybe zoom out some so I can see a nice little representation of my sine wave. There we go. And or I need to maybe change my frequency of my wave here. Let me get something that's usable. There we go. All right, that'll work. Uh, so now that we have a waveform going in there, this is going to be um, not affected by the comparator. And now let's get another cable so that we can multiply our sine wave coming out from here. And then we're going to go into the comparator. There we are. And now we are going to have to come out of the comparator and then into our oscillator as well. So we'll be able to see both. Um, and for that, we're going to actually need to get another stack cable because I want you to be able to see that. So I'm going to actually go down to my analog sum and take another cable out. And then I'm going to go down into my oscilloscope so we can see what's going on. There's my second waveform and my comparator. And uh, now see, let me just double check to make sure I got everything set up the way I wanted it to be set up. And I believe I do. Let's see, we got sine wave going down to the oscilloscope. If we see down here, that's going to represent be represented in the red waveform. And then we have the second output from that going over to the A167 at the input right there. And then we have the next output uh, going down to the oscilloscope from analog sum. And then we're going to take another output from this and then go over to our standard VCO here in a moment. Uh, but before we do that, uh, let's hear what our regular sine wave is going to do to our VCO. So now we're going to patch our audio so we can hear what our VCO sounds like unmodulated. So let's just do a triangle wave. Okay, so we have a basic triangle wave. 
And now let's take our basic sine wave. That would be our red waveform. And then patch it over into the pitch of our oscillator. So here we go. Patching into CV1 of A110. Okay, so let's look at our oscilloscope. So that is going to be from the red waveform. There we go. And then you should be able to see here in a moment if I bring my frequency down on my oscillator right here, or my uh, voltage controlled LFO, I should say. And I look at my oscilloscope, you can see the waveform has changed now, but I'm still dealing with just the red waveform right now. So that's just our standard LFO. Okay, so then how is the offset going to help us? Well, let's take the output from there. Now we can hear that we have no uh, modulation going on now to our A110. And let's take the, the second one, the one coming from the comparator out into our oscillator. So you should be able to immediately hear a difference there. And if we look back at our oscilloscope, that's going to be represented as our green waveform there. It's half the volume, but more importantly, it's a little more subtle in its effect. The other one you kind of heard kind of abrasive. Hopefully that made sense. Let me get a second cable and then we'll kind of just kind of AB it here in kind of a more quick fashion. So I'm getting another cable out my oscilloscope and I'm just going to unpatch my comparator output right here, patch in the regular sine wave. So that's the regular sine wave back at our oscilloscope, the red line, and then I'm unpatching that going. Now I'm going into the green line. So now you should hear. Okay. So that's the difference. And now if I go back to my comparator, um, let's come back to the comparator so you can see it. Uh, I'm going to kind of adjust the amplitude now a little bit. As well as bringing up the offset. So now, if we go back to the oscilloscope, you can see it kind of moving up. Okay, and that even holds true going in the opposite direction. Going back up. Okay, so right there at that level, let's AB it again. So I'm gonna unpatch the CV input there. Keep in mind that was our uh, comparator output right there. And I'm gonna bring in the regular sine wave. So that's the regular sine wave. Not adjusted via the comparator. Gonna unpatch it and then patch it right there. And if I go back to my uh, oscilloscope, now I'm looking at the green waveform modulating my oscillator. And then, of course, I can apply my offset. Now you can use this to get a slightly more subtle effect or uh, apply this to a modulation that you're using on a filter. Uh, this is just one example happening with an A110 VCO. And it just so happened that I happened to have these modules here, so I decided to use this as a demonstration of it. But that basically covers the, uh, the offset audio demonstration that I wanted to show you. OK, 
Okay. Um, now, we have not done the minus in, so let's just do a quick example of that. This one should be a little more apparent. So here we have a negative version of our sine wave. And now let's unpatch it and hear the positive. This will be a little more effective if I bring offset back to zero. So this is the positive version, unpatching, negative version. If we go back to the oscilloscope, that's gonna be the green one. Unpatching, patching back. This is the red one. Okay, so you can hear the difference now. Let's go back. This is the green one. So, there we are. Now let me unpatch that, and I'm gonna also unpatch my oscillator. Uh, so that is going to be the audio demonstration of Offset. And now in a moment, we're going to be doing the free-running ADSR. Um, so please, please stay tuned for that. I hope that you found this uh, fairly useful. Uh, it took a little bit longer than I had anticipated, but uh, I think it was beneficial overall just to see those two demonstrations. Uh, so keep on patching out there, and we'll see you shortly in the next episode with the free-running ADSR.